Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give our prayers to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Kapadash, the Rodney, the Apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to the elect out there pushing this word in truth, sincerity, and on charity. This lesson I'm going to uh, disperse among the nation of Israel, all right, which is uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And uh, that's who uh, the message that our Lord Yahweh Shai. Alright, for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Because the scriptures the nation of Israel disobeyed the lost session commandments of the Heavenly Father and the Most High cursed us. Okay? And us being uh, 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 under these curses, alright, the Lord uh, uh, took away our heritage, scattered us. To the four corners of the earth okay he divided the nation of israel into two kingdoms all right which the southern kingdom is you uh negroes haitians and uh jamaicans and then the northern kingdom is uh you uh, native tribe you latinos indigenous people of uh the americas and the Lord sent us back here in the latter days to uh, to come as one, and to serve Him with one consent. All right, and that's going to be the, the hopeful elect, man. You know, the Lord is rebuilding the house of David as before. He bring the tribes back together. All right, He's waking us up to who we are. Um, He's taking our shame away. And, and, and our shame uh, has to do that our people look like the other nations uh, because through our captivity we were mingled among the women of the nations uh, and we, and we uh, put our seed into these other women uh, and scattered our, the seed of Israel but um, with that I'm, uh, I'm going to read the book of James 1 and 1 it says James Servant of Yahweh, which Yahweh is the true name of the Father, and the Paleo Hebrew, all right, which is the Lashwan Kodash. Okay, the scriptures speak about serving the Lord, all right, in the pure language. What's the pure language? All right, I, I, the Hebrew, all right. So it says, James, the servant of Yahweh, and of the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. To twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, all right, and that's who the letters of Paul were sent to, to the to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, all right, which at that time were known as Gentiles, because if you read, in fact, if you go to the book of Psalms, one hundred and six, one hundred six. 34 starting starting at 34 it says this is talking about the nation of Israel Psalms 104 and 34 the day is Israel they did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works right man it says we learned their works by, 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 by keeping their customs worshiping their gods it says and they served their idols which were a snare unto them right we started worshiping their, their gods which that was called fornication man the true definition of fornication is all right committing adultery against the heavenly father by serving these other gods all right and that's what we did man this is uh first corinthians 12 and one, this is not concerning spiritual gifts, brethren. This is Apostle Paul speaking. Now, the Apostle Paul made it very clear who's, it, who's his brethren. All right? His brethren are the Israelites. All right? You read the book of Romans, the ninth chapter. All right? Verse 1 to verse, verse 4. Up to verse 5, I believe it, it tells you that his brethren are, are the Israelites. 
his kinsmen according to the flesh. Okay? It says, And now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I will not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols even as you were dead. Alright? So the Apostle Paul is telling us that we were, alright, past tense, we were Gentiles. Why? Because we just read Psalms 106, man. We were mingled among the heathens and in their works and served their idols. Alright? And that's how we became Gentiles, man. There's a word uh, in the scriptures. Matter of fact, I'll get it. I think it's Acts 6 and 6 and 1. It says, because at the time uh, uh, when uh, the Greek Empire was established, alright, the Jews, all right, which consisted of the southern kingdom, they were Hellenized. Alright, Hellenized is a is a Greek speaking Jew, alright keeps the custom of, of, of a Greek. You see, so I'm, I'm going to read it right here. In those days when the numbers of disciples were multiplied, so like it was multiplied, there, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews. Right? Because the Grecians I were uh, coming into the, into the fold. You know? And there was a uh, murmuring against them because they're being uh, um, looked as uh, uh, inferior, man. But, you know, even the Apostle Paul uh, um, had to check Peter because he was uh, acting like he, he, he was acting like, a, 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 you know, he made less uh, the, 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 the Israelite foreigners who, uh, who were the Gentiles, who I'm speaking about, he made them less when, when, uh, when they're around the, uh, the Jews, man. But anyway... It says, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in their daily ministry. Now, the point I want to I want to get into, the word Grecian. When you go into the word Grecian, all right, the word there is um, Hellenistas, all right? And when you go into that word Hellenistas, is a Hellenist. One who imitates the manner and customs or the worship of the Greek. So a Hellenista is not a Greek. It's, it's one who uh, uh, mimics all right, uh, a Greek. So it says, and use and use the Greek tongue. All right, but it's like it. Uh, B, used in the New Testament of Jews born in foreign lands. All right, that's what it says to the 12 tribes scattered abroad. Greetings. It says, hey, hey, hey. Used in the New Testament of Jews born in foreign lands speaking Greek, right? So these, so these uh, Greeks, these Gentiles that the Apostle Paul was sent forth to bring forth the word were Israelites, man. All right, they were Israelites. This is John seven and thirty-five. It says, get it real quick. So we know that. We got the understanding that these that's why scripture says there's no difference between Jew or Greek because uh, one set of the Jews knew that they were Israelites and the Greeks I right, were at a Gentile state of mind all right which both of them are Israelites man you know it's just one set of Israelites thought that they were uh, they were lost man it says um Verse 35, it says, John 7, 35, so like the brothers, I'm just walking here, you know, trying to keep myself circumspect, you know. But uh, this is uh, John 7, 35, then said the Jews among themselves, all right, whether will he go? He is talking about Yahweh Shai. He says, whether will he go that we should not find him? Will he go into the disperse among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? Now, the Lord, the, the, the scripture says here, if you could, uh, brothers can understand a little bit of Spanish. I got the Spanish translation here. All right. The word there for Gentile in Spanish is uh, uh, griegos. All right. Griego in the English is Greek. So what the, these Pharisees and these Jews were saying is, where is Yahweh Shai going? Will he go amongst the dispersed? Now the dispersed are who, man? The twelve tribes scattered abroad. Now just to 
further edify, I'm just gonna look into the word disperse. So it says the scattering and dispersion of Israelites dispersed amongst among foreign nations. Alright, that's what you call it the diaspora. Alright. So let me read that again with context. <laughs> it says then said the Jews among themselves, whether will he go? That we should not find him. Will he go unto the Israelite foreigners among the Gentiles? Alright, among amongst these other nations. All right, and teach the Gentiles. All right, and teach these and teach the Israelite foreigners. You see, now in this particular verse, all right, speaking about two different Gentiles, natural Gentile who is of the other nations, all right, who is not an Israelite, and the other Gentile is talking about the Israelite foreigners who kept the customs of the other nations, all right, and, and were Hellenized. You see. So, um, scripture says in Luke, I believe it's the one, and I'm gonna end it off with this because the world thinks that how shy who the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ is gonna come and save everybody, and, and that's a false statement, man. The Lord is only coming to save his elect of the nation of Israel. This is a uh, Luke. And, and this is a heavy chapter here. Um, goes into a lot of things. But uh, it's a long chapter. Um, I'm going to start at... Uh, I'm going to start at 59. Luke 1 and 59 is... And it reads... So I'll give me one second, brothers. Crossing the street. Is that Luke 1 and 59? It came to pass that on the eighth day the king circumcised the child and they called him Zechariah at the name of his father. It's a like it, brother. It's a wrong, wrong, wrong verse. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just get to the point, brothers. I don't want to waste so much time. Is uh. This is uh, Luke 1 and 68. Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people. Now the word redeem, we're going to that word redeem. I'm not making this a little bit longer than it is. So a ransom, redemption, deliverance from, from the penalty of sin. Right. And now Yahweh Shai is that ransom man. He came and died for his people, like we read in Matthew 1 and 21. Now, that ransom, all right, was for us to uh, uh, begin forgiveness for our sins, man. It means that grace now. Who is giving the law, man? How can, how can one sin? All right? Sin is what? According to the Bible, transgression of the law. Now, the law was only given to the Israelites pursuant to the book of Psalms 147 and 19. So, the other nations, they can't be redeemed out of this world all right only the nation of israel and particularly the elect man you know so you know i'm just gonna end it off like that man you know i hope this video was edifying i want to give all praise to you about shimmy al shai about shim kakwadash the bonus to the apostles of great millstone and salutations to the elect out there pushing this word of truth and sincerity and all charity so next time i say shalom